Today's project on Uncle Rob is I think gonna be something that's really useful to a lot of you. This is a common upgrade that so many people do, so many people have questions about, including myself, so I'm kinda of be working through this too. We're doing the e-fan upgrade. These things do not come with electric fans. They come with these stupid things. These monstrosities of horsepower robbing nonsense that are sharp and hurt your fingers. You get rid of that and upgrade to something like that came out factory of like my Escalade. This is kind of the same thing. These fans right here, they bolt right in and you can even get the factory little harness deal with the relays and stuff and put that in the same way it would be factory and that gets pinned into the ECU the same way we did the uh, speed sensor and stuff for the 4Lady conversion, except this time I have pins to add. Do you want to take care of the pins? Don't lose them. You look so pumped. Because I know where I'm going to put them, but the camera can't be on. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's probably the safest place to put them, and I don't disagree. He, uh, Brian, same guy, gas tank dude, he freaking hooked it up with this harness here, I guess he had it laying around. And he even left this connector on here because these two wires are the ones that get um, pinned into the ECU. So everything is supposed to be plug and play, except for that. But I just had it picked up right now because I'm gonna finish weld the downpipe and get some work done on that. I'm gonna connect that to the factory exhaust, uh, but not right now. And I also fixed the broken dipstick from the dyno video. And actually, this eBay T4 manifold uses the factory dipstick with the mount just fine. So, the more you know. I had to um, use different types of screwdrivers to beat the old dipstick receiver into the oil pan. Uh, it'll come out with an oil change or just float around on there. Not a big deal, but I'm glad this is finally gone because oil blowing up onto the turbo manifold under wide open throttle it's a recipe for fire and fire is bad this is the only sticker on here right now on the website staplesandautoworks.com the hats are sold out these hats we'll be getting more eventually but now the shirts and decals are for sale individually um don't <laughs> you guys <laughs> this is ingenuity right here guys i'm figuring it out just stop I had turn the camera off. <laughs> I had to go put a wrench back in Little John's toolbox. I was like, "Can you figure out how to get this light to hang here somehow?" And she's like, "I got it. I got it. No problem." And I'm coming back to like the freaking cat's cradle over here. <laughs> you know that game like little kids play with the their string or whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought of. Um, anyway. I the light part was actually down. Yeah. Well, this is the part I got to take off right here. Cause... Well, you could have said that before I tied it to that side. Well, that's fine. Well, I don't know. I think you did a pretty good job. Yeah. Looks good to me. If I put it in the right place the first time, <laughs> you would have told me, that would be nice. Well, now it's in the perfect place because all the work we're going to be doing is going to be like right here, a little bit over here, and some down there, and down there. While, uh, while I'm getting this apart, do you think you can get those old fans out? Sure. I think you can do that. You'll just have to, um, these little thingies that get poked through here mm -hmm. yeah you just have to cut those cut them yeah they're like zip ties that go through the radiator just take the wire cutters and cut in there right in here yeah cut the head off and it'll fall out mildly stuck oh yeah nice and crust just the way I like it oh well those aren't original oh I forgot my uncle did get Someone like posted into him at a stop sign and this fender is not original. That's probably why these don't match. Good good body shop choice. I wondered because it looked new. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's not original. You can tell the metal's flimsier than the factory fender on the other side too. Yeah, well, it's like looking at the, in the wheel well. Oh, how it's not crusty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get this, this cover off here, this whole cover. Apparently, that factory piece goes it plops onto right here and is a different cover that is meant for vehicles that already have that which i might be able to find did it work yep. oh yeah you know those little parts store fans did a pretty good job for what they are you look like you're really having a great time mm -hmm. <laughs> oh i've never taken this cover off before i don't really know how it does it looks like 
I have some traction now. There's a couple clips down here. Okay, I think we got this under control. I see now in here somewhere. It looks like it's probably where that goes. I'm gonna get some stuff out of the way so I can get it in there. But I think I see the slot where it's supposed to go. And uh, the red thing right here, I believe bolts right to that. All I know is Brian told me it goes here somewhere and it pops on like it's supposed to be there. I don't know exactly what that means though. Oh, I see. This thing is tapered so it, it gets wider at the bottom. So does this bracket here. So I think if I pop this out, slide it on that, I think that's where it's supposed to go. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it does go there. I just didn't do it right. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm, I'm learning here. There's a peg on this thing. I have to pick the fuse box up. Hold on. Let's see what's going on here. Look at this. That peg right there mm -hmm. slides right onto that. And this harness would go underneath all of this stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, this is factory AF right here. I am so, oh man, check this out. Ready? It's so satisfying. It just works so well. It's almost like it's supposed to be there because it is. Okay, well that part's covered. So I bolted that power tab right to there, which is probably where it's supposed to go based on how this wire was like kind of bent already, like it's natural inclination was already to go there so either went there or there i don't know that seemed to be easier so i used it now we're gonna have to pull these connectors off of the ecu again with the seven mil socket i freaking hate these things they're just like annoying but whatever here we go diving in we're, this is really simple like we're pretty much almost done we just have to do that put the actual fans in and plug them in because this is already this harness here already has plugs on it factory stuff is fun so I'm gonna use these non-insulated uh, connectors here because they're cleaner. Uh, but actually I'm out of heat shrink, so I'm just gonna electrical tape them. And when you use these, and these crimpers, you wanna put the bulbous part on the seam of the connector so it will like curl in like, like this. See how that's like curled in like that? Yeah, door of the explorer, yeah, I see. Oh my god! <laughs> yep, that's what we're doing here. We're just gonna put it in here just like that. And I'll do it down here too. Now, that's, that's a good connection right there. Looks nice. You still got those pins nice and safe? Yep. Cool. Inside joke. If you weren't here early in the video, you don't understand. Which is also like my lame attempt at a dad joke because if you are watching this part of the video, I would say there's a very high probability that you watched the beginning of the video too, because it comes before this. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I am a special kind of stupid. A goober. I'm a goober. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. So yeah, I kind of squished it, and then I squished it again the sideways to, you know, make it rounder. If I had heat shrink, this would look so money right now. <laughs> That meme, the goofy meme. I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, freaking. We'll f do it again. <laughs> From what I read, the green wire goes to the blue connector, and the blue wire goes to the green connector. I'm just looking at this online the same way anybody else would. I Google things. That's how we get things done around here. Take note. All right. Now I gotta choose which wire I'm gonna use for this. Well, we just have to like kind of flop the radiator hose out of the way and it'll slide it has those little ears on the end the one you're holding uh -huh. will slide right into here right on the radiator but we don't want to put it in there yet because it'll give us less room to wire things do you still have the pins yep. i need the pins right now yeah <laughs> well good safekeeping ah the pins are warm can't beat it. Uh, I got the wires ran. I found a little black wire with a green thing on it, black wire with a blue thing on it, and I connected them to the same color wire that they came from, green and blue. 
Just keep things simple. Are you noticing a pattern here? Every time we work on this thing, we pull that connector off and shove stuff in it. It seems like. I feel like we do this a lot. It's the evolution, the evolution of Uncle Rob. Yeah, spit on it. Yeah, spit on it. So we are taking pin 42 on the blue connector. I don't think we have to pop this off because we're not pulling anything out. We should just be able to stick it into the back and uh, have it be <laughs> good. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> but uh, not to you. <laughs> yeah, pin 42, second one in from this side right here. And there's like a rubber piece in here. We gotta take a pick and poke a hole in it for the pin to go through. So we take the green wire to the blue connector. If I can unplug this now, and I'll just put them in and replug it in later. Blue connector, green wire, hole 42, let's go. Just shove it in. Actually, we may need to spit on it. It needs to uh, kind of stuck. There's some WD-40 over there. Well, may have to take this off and pull it through the other side because it's not wanting to cooperate completely. Mm. Did you make the hole good enough? I think I did. It's just, you know, it's tight. It's new. It's never done this before. <laughs> See? You got it in now. And it clips in. Nice and handy dandy. Now we can put this back on. When we take this out, we did this in a different video for the transmission conversion. You just lift this up and push it and it will it will pop out the back side. All of these work like that. So it's pretty simple. Unlocks a whole new realm of possibility when you figure out how to pin and deep pin a connector. So there's that one. And now we have to go to, I believe it's 33. Yeah, number 33 on the green connector for the blue wire. So that's nice, nice and crusty on here. I can't really read it. 30, 31, 32, 33. This empty one right here. Ah! I'm gonna pop this off anyway, just to make life easier. The numbers are crusty and there's a good chance you might have a struggle getting it in anyway. Yeah. Lesson learned. If it looks crusty on the outside, it may be hard to get it in. I don't know if you want to insert anything in something that's crusty. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you got. 33. Right here. That one I didn't even need to pull this cover off of. That's convenient. It went in a lot easier. We're done with that. Now this is hooked up and it should work. The ground over here, I believe this gets grounded to the cylinder head and the fan plugs are on the end of this too. Hold on. Oh my God. Yeah, there you go. Boom. So I'm gonna put this back together and we will put the fans in, plug them in, ground it, and test them. Why does it look like metal ramen noodles? I don't know. What's the reasoning? Because it is cheap and it works. Just like ramen noodles. I don't know. It's a good question. I'm just curious. I think it's something to do with the alternator. is like a magnet in there, and when it spins, it like, generates the power from these windings in here. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Something along those lines. I know that they spin in there and it's kind of like a magnet or something. You know, playing with my crust. Look at this super awesome Uncle Rob shirt though. Check it out. 69. Yeah, there's a hidden 69 on there. It's really hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> Staplesandautoworks.com And what? Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> what? And she will pack your order. Um, Logan packs all the orders. And every order gets a handwritten note from her, signed by both of us. And we always write like dumb stuff on them. Like at the end of this video, we'll do some where I'll write some 
random things on there. So if you order something after this video, you may get one of those. But we'll finish this up first and then go uh, do some funny things later. How about that? I was playing with this thing, the pick or whatever it is, you know, scooping random items out of here and I discovered there is poop. What kind of poop? Mouse. Mouse poop? It is a mouse turd. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's many mouse turds in here. And we touch this stuff. This is disease. That's kind of like the essence of working on cars. Like, you know, on the road, there's like road kill. Things die, people run them over, your tires touch it. And then we just like carry those things around. Yeah. Really, if you think about like the but dirt. But there's turds in here. There should not be turds under the hood of your car. No, there shouldn't be. There shouldn't <laughs> be squirrel nuts in the freaking fan blower. There shouldn't be, there shouldn't be a turbo under here either. We could put that out there. I would much rather see a turbo under here than a turd. I'm sorry. I just wanted to clean it, but now I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang, don't give up that easy. I don't want to touch turds. I wish you did. Then it would be clean. Wow, this is the first time the ECU has actually been put in its holder the proper way. I don't know where the original ground place went for this. I think probably down there somewhere. I don't know. I thought it was the head, but it's not because the bolt hole is too small. Well, everything on here is crusty. Not a great place to ground things. I know the head is a good place to ground stuff. So I'm just going to make the hole bigger and use another leftover converter bolt as that because I don't have any bolts that are short enough, just like I use for the dipstick. Converter bolts for the win. So let's waller this thing out, make it fit. There we go. Now we got to get some brake clean and clean the head off. Just, just to make sure the ground is good. I like having these drill press vices not anchored to anything because you can kind of like, you know, it's just handy. I already have that all wired up, so if I wanted to make it bigger, I'd have to like hold with vice grips and get all twisted up and cut my fingers and stuff, or you could just take one of these and take it where you need it. The people want your commentary, Logan. They need it. I'm too boring. Well, it sucks to be them, and it sucks to be you, right? Yeah, it sucks to be me. I'm just so boring. Yep. Not like I laugh at the stupid things you do all day. Yeah, well, they don't get to see that. They're, you know, some of these people, they haven't had a good day. And they come here to have a nice part of their day, so... And laugh at you. Yeah, I need to be a bit more <laughs> of an idiot, I guess. Like, freaking... I, I got my... I'm too put together today. I need to really tone it down a little bit, I guess. Bend and snap. What? When you bend over to pick something up, you're supposed to bend and snap. Do you want to demonstrate? No. <laughs> you like bend over, stick your butt out, and then you like snatch yourself back up real quick. It's to bend and snap. I'm gonna take a hard pass on that one. Show off your butt. You know? I'm sure some people would like that. <laughs> Inside joke. I'll tell you what, there are some weird people on Instagram. Dudes. That's all I'm gonna say. I use that block button. Anyway, I'm just cleaning this up to get the, you know, <laughs> all the crud off of there. <laughs> okay. We got, it. don't wanna think about it. Nice arms, big boy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Why would you put that there? Because it was heavy and I didn't want to move it anymore. Oh. Makes sense. This bothers me. The fraying? Yes. You want to put some tape around it? I was thinking more of burning it, but that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, cauterize it? Yeah. Yeah, put some tape around it. Electrical tape? Yeah, you could wrap tape like nicely. Oh, I can do it all over it? No, just, just to, like the ends to the hold it. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted like the whole thing. Yeah, no, just tape, tape the ends. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do 
you think you can handle this? I think that was a stupid question. <laughs> Is this entertaining or something? Yeah. I don't think anybody cares to watch me do this. Leave a comment, guys. If you care to watch her do this, leave a comment. Let's prove her wrong. <laughs> She's gonna hate it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, let me flop this up out of the way here. Hold on. I'm Hold gonna on. beat the hell out of everything in the way. Lift it up for a second. Ugh. Okay, yeah, no, no, wait. I hope it'll fit in around that pipe. I don't think so. Yeah, now it seems to fit that way. But we're hitting this pipe over here. I think we just had to unplug the IAT sensor. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think. Uh, it should sit in a little groove down there. Yeah, Is but it? it's hooked. It's like aligned with the hole. Yep, that's where it's supposed to be. Maybe you should put the things in here first. Should have put the fans in first. Yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't have the fans when I put the sensor there. So there's that. I swear having the camera on makes everything harder. Seriously, like we were struggling to get these fans in here. And then we shut the camera off. Like, oh, it's hard. And then it, was, then it fell right in. You guys make this hard. No, don't. Really, it wouldn't be happening at all if it wasn't for you. It's the only reason I'm able to do this. The only reason I'm able to live the way I live is because you guys are here and I appreciate you because YouTube is our full-time job, for real. I am the mechanic, uh, video editor, and Logan is head of merchandise. It's an unofficial title, but she does all of the packing, fulfillment, inventory, all that stuff herself. We are a functional team sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, it's plugged in. We just have to bolt it up now. So I gotta find bolts. Found a couple bolts. I'm pretty sure the bolts that I'm using in here are old valley cover uh, bolts. They're not like the big, you know, the real ones have the, the 13 mil head with the big flat washer for this thing. I don't have those, I just got these ones, but you know what they are? They're ones that work, so we're gonna use them. Yeah. This? Yeah, they're right there. There we go. Now this can go back where it's supposed to go. Awesome. All these go right back there. And this, uh, we can punch this Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Man, it's so factory. It is so factory, so awesome. We did it. Slowly, Uncle Rob evolved into something worthy of a shirt this awesome. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know if that cover will even fit over this the way that is. I don't think it will, but I'm gonna put that little cross bar brace piece back in anyway, just just because I won't lose it if I put it back in. You know, practice good nut discipline. Yeah, I put that nut back on. Good. There was nothing else connected to it, was there? No. I think the old hood ground used to go there. Oh. That thing? Yeah. We're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to actually do the HP tuner stuff to put it in there and test them, but it should work. I mean, we did everything the way we were supposed to do it. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Do you know why it wouldn't work? Drop the fans? Yeah. Oh, they're fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because people can like play bumper cars and they still work, so it's okay. Oh, let's go write some stupid stuff on notes. Yeah. That's always fun. Suck it. Bottle fingers. <laughs> so uh, what stupid stuff are we gonna write on notes this time? Hmm. Let's get the get the pad out here. All right, someone is gonna have butthole fingers here. face <laughs> tear <laughs> oh my god there you go someone's gonna get this logan's gonna sign all these two um what else what else could we put on here <laughs> <laughs> if you go on stable and autoworks.com after this video is posted and get a shirt the first however many goopy cards we make will get these goopy cards and you can 
do something with them if you want to. If you don't, you can throw it away. My feelings will be hurt because we put care into these. Let's write some more dumb things. Oh, you need to make an icy titties one. I already did an icy titties one. Oh, well, someone else can get an icy titties one. They want them. Yeah, we got the Uncle Rob shirts. We got the Good Ranch style um, 1988 Dale Earnhardt looking pit crew style shirt here. Uh, it's actually for sale individually now. It was only part of the box with the hats and the decals, but now the hats are sold out and we got the shirts and the decals for sale individually for those of you who maybe didn't want a hat. Uncle Rob shirts go up all the way to 6XL. This is the 6XL, 5X, 4X, 3X. We got some of the old style good wrench looking shirts in 4X, 3X and one small left. A handful of hoodies left, that's it. Uh, whatever's on the website is whatever we have. The stock is um, kept up to date. We also have the flag shirts. The OG flag shirt that's been around forever is going to go away once they're gone. The graphic is also the same on the hoodie. So what did you what did you do? It sucks. <laughs> Freaking sweet. Look at those wheels. Fun fact. There's a hidden 69 on the Uncle Rob shirt and might be a hint right here. I don't know. If you can't find it, you might need some help. If you enjoyed this video, check and make sure that you're subscribed. If you're not, do it. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people and it's weird. But if you are subscribed, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment, I read them all, I interact with you guys a lot, what you think and say, um, or your feedback, suggestions, all that's important to me. Unless you say dumb stuff, then I don't care, we're just gonna laugh at you. Go tell Cole to suck it, yes. Suck it, Cole. I'm gonna do a few more goofy ones of those, uh, just for you guys, so. Hop on it, see if you get one. If you don't get one of those, you'll still get a hand signed thank you note, except it'll be more like proper, I guess. You know, PG. Anyway. More appreciative. Yeah, a more appreciative and being an Yeah, we're just, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. As always, glad you're here. Say something in the comments, speak up. I want to know what you guys think. Check out the website, stableautoworks.com. We'll see you there.